Hi guys, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be decorating another cake I really hope you guys are going to enjoy. We're going to be making this totally awesome electric guitar cake. And not just any electric guitar, it's going to be a Fender Telecaster. This cake is going to rock. So let's get into it. So for today's cake, we're using two 9 by 13 inch quarter slab chocolate cake layers. And I'm going to begin by leveling these out. So I'm just going to take my cake leveler, which I've preset to my desired height, and I'm going to trim these down. And once I'm finished cleaning up all my crumbs, I'm going to take this stencil that I created and we're going to cut out the shape of our cake. Now once you finish cutting out your desired shapes, we're going to take a little bit of chocolate icing and apply it to our cake board to give our cake something to adhere to. Then we're going to take our cake lifter and I'm going to transfer my cake very gently onto my cake board being very careful not to break it. But if I do, it's not a big deal. We can patch that together with some chocolate icing, no trouble. Now once I'm finished with that step, I'm going to fill my layer with the rest of my chocolate buttercream and then we're going to give our cake a nice little crumb coat. So for my crumb coat, I thought it would be best to color match to the color of the fawn that we're going to be using today. So that way if we have any mess, it's easy to clean up and it should blend right in. Now as you can see, I've mixed up a couple of colors here and I've used all Americolor today. Now this here is a bit of a smoky teal color and I use teal, black, and a tiny little bit of sky blue to achieve this color. And this here color is a light brown and I was going for sort of a maple wood look. So I used a brown, lemon yellow, and a little bit of orange. And I'm going to be using a variety of smoothers to apply these to my cake today because it's going to be fairly tricky. So we'll see how it turns out. There we go, the hard part is done. At least I think it's the hard part anyway. I don't know about you guys. I tend to have a little bit of trouble sometimes applying icing on carved cakes like this because there's just so many factors that can really just tear your cake apart. There's icing consistency, temperature, and even the tools you're using. But I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I really like it and I hope all you guys all like it too so far. If you do, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any tips or tricks on how to make this job a little bit easier, leave them down below as well. I would love to hear about them too. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge to chill and let it crust over nicely. And in the meantime, we're going to start working on all the little fondant decorations. Alright, so I finished all my decorations and I think they look great. Simple yet effective. I still have to make my frets and I still have to make my strings, but those aren't going to go on until the whole cake is put together anyway. So we're going to set these to the side because our silver paint still needs some time to dry. And I'm going to go grab my cake, roll in some fondant, and we're going to get it covered up. So for this next part, I'm going to begin with the neck of our guitar because it is my weakest point, so I just want to get that out of the way for now. So I'm going to roll out some of this wood color fondant. We're going to get it covered up and I'm going to use my hands and my fondant smoother to smooth it all out.
All right, guys, I've got my cake all covered in fondant. What do you guys think? I think it looks awesome so far. I'm so excited. So all I have left to do is add all my decorations and a few final finishing touches and then I will show you guys the big reveal. Well, here it is guys, what do you think? I think it turned out awesome, I am so happy with it, and I really hope you guys all like it too. If you do, you know what to do. Hit that big thumbs up button and leave me some love in that comment section too. And if you enjoyed the video and you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys.